recording. So, 20, what year is it? 2019? 19, Toyota 86. 2019, GT86, Toyota, TRD edition. We're gonna do coilovers. We're gonna put, we're gonna go from stock suspension to, uh, what is it, the TN? Yeah, TN. TN. And, hold on, let's go show it. So this is pretty much what we're installing is these uh, Tiana ones, the mm -hmm. flex ones. I don't know if you can see that, yeah, there you go. Th those were the fronts, and these are the backs. Alright. We already got one tire removed. We are charging the GoPro, somebody forgot to charge it. So, to remove the tire is a 19 millimeter. So we use half inch impact. Matco doesn't really matter. I mean, we got a 19 half inch drive to remove the wheels. But if you got wheels like those, and oh. like those, and you don't want to damage the rim or anything like that, you could just get the socket, half inch ratchet, break them loose. So that way you don't you don't risk you know scratching your, your new wheels or anything like that. So anyways, so, oh, okay. Got a 3 8 gun for the small little like nuts and bolts. Um, oh, if, you, if you see over here, there's two little clips. You see? Mm -hmm. There's two little clips here that you use this type of tool. It's like to pry it out. So then you got two bolts here, which are 19s, which you need a 19 wrench. Put it right here. And then you put your 19 socket to take them off. And then you gotta you gotta you gotta, you gotta remove um, the end links, which is only from the top, just to so that way you free up this um, this coil right here. And then you got a 10 if you go on this side. It's kind of hard to see, but for the brake line, there's a little there's a 12 millimeter here that you gotta remove. And then that's it for the bottom. And when you go on top, then you got just these three bolts. And removing these three, and then the rest of the bolts that I said earlier, that'll free up this, and then you'll be able to take it out. Moving the 12 millimeter that's right here for the brake line. Very easy. Just 12 millimeter. Unscrew it. Second. So brake line comes loose you can just just let it dangle set it aside that there next then you got your two clips here that I was I was saying little pry tool do a little wiggle comes loose might be a little hard to see but let's see if we can pry it in there all right comes loose pretty easy now all you got to do is just the end link which is I believe 17 millimeter get your gun easy just remove simple process for these very easy so it's gonna hit here. There's not that much clearance for the end link to kind of like just push out. So we're gonna take these bolts out to kind of like move the whole knuckle forward. And then that way we can wiggle the, the shock and then have enough clearance to take off the end link. You put your 19 wrench. Where's my 19 wrench, hold on. 19 wrench on this side. Get your gun. The 19 millimeter and it just pops right out. We've already kind of lo like loosened them because they're a little tight and so anyways came off easy both both sides uh, just remove the nuts the gun couldn't fit here because this brake line was was right here so let me show you hold on and give you an example so my gun wasn't fitting because this was hitting so what I ended up using as a easier method was uh, one of these uh, ratchet wrenches, Nin it's a double sided 1917, 
um, mountain, good quality, flexible head, and then just right there, just break it loose. It was super easy, a little bit of force, but nothing too crazy. And then once you get it loose, just take out the, the nuts. Good. And all you need is a hammer to just easily just hammer on the hammer the, the bolt out. And then do the, the opposite for the other side. So all you gotta do is so this knuckle is gonna come forward, it's gonna fall forward once you take these off so you, what you can do is you can put your hand see how you can wiggle it so boom so don't, you don't have to like struggle like going like this trying to pull it so just push this up and use this as your leverage and you can take them out hey, can you see boom again? and then same thing with this oh, just wiggle it out second sorry my cameraman's a little bit awkward right now this comes off okay so when 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 this 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 will kind of support itself but you don't want to like let it fall but you kind of want to leave it gently but i would suggest to put like a jack or something to hold it from the bottom not that piece of wood maybe you could stand it or something uh i have to go find one but you could put like something to support this because if you just like let it fall it could break your tie rod in or, or stretch the the cables for like the brakes or the brake line or whatever so so pretty much we just put another jack under it we have one and then put yeah. this just a piece of cardboard for so that way you won't ruin the threading yeah to support it anyways so once you got all the, the two bolts removed now you have play see this so now it doesn't hit right here so now you can turn the, the shock and links comes off easy you can just put that aside so end link two bolts brake line and the two the two clips that's it and this is already just free to go all you need left is the top three bolts or the nuts i mean which are 12 millimeters i have again ratchet wrench or you can use a gun whatever you prefer I'm just loosen these three hold on make sure make sure i'm going the right way Just listen these three. So once you get them loose, I'll hold it in the bottom. When you when you get them loose, just have some. Just either if you have somebody, they can hold the shock because it's gonna fall down. Or if you can, just you know put one hand over and just hold it with one hand and then unscrew with the other, like so. Push, push the shock up. There you go. Alright, once you have all, all three bolts out, now you just pull the shock out. Do you want to hold the camera or no, the shock? I'll hold the shock. Alright. So once you got all that, this just comes off. Alright. Um, so before installing it in the coil over, Top hat, it moves, swivels or whatever. So way you want it to, to when you position it, obviously it'll have a left hand side and a right hand side. You want the to sit just like this, right above over here. So it'll sit flush, and this can't be like this because it, it kind of goes only one way. You don't want it to sit like this because if it sits like this, then bolts won't line up. But you know, so and so can't do it like this either. So it has to sit this way, so that way. If you come over here on this side, it'll be like this. We already installed this side, so it should look like this. So you see, so this is the right hand side, and it fits perfect. That way, you can do your, you know, camber adjustment and stuff like that. And okay, so we're just gonna install everything back. Maybe you guys want to see it being installed. So let's do that. Alright. 
Yeah, you gotta put the bolt on. All right, so so just screw the. He's, so you can either, like I said, I have help right now. So he's holding in, holding the the shock from the bottom. Screw these on real quick, and then you can let go. So that way, it won't fall down. So anyways, so now you got like you got this. So this this you know flexibility. So now, but before you put the knuckle and anything on, before anything, don't forget end link. Put the end link first because if you put everything else on, remember how in the beginning you couldn't take this out because this was already like this. There's no no clearance. So right now, since you have you know a lot of clearance, so. Here you are. Your gloves ripped, by the way. Yes, my glo gloves are ripped and it's a little sweaty, but it's okay. So anyways, end link, make sure you have that after that. Just get your, your nut. I'm gonna put the bolts over here. There, right here. Give it a second. That one, yeah. Oh, these were the old ones, by the way. Sorry. All right. Just put the nut back on. Give me a second. Do the bottom one first, and then the top. So, bottom one in. For some reason, when you do the top one, the top one first, and you try to do the second one, I don't know if it's just like, you know, the way it just is, but I don't know, it's just it's a little harder. But put the bottom one first and then the top one goes right in as you see uh, get your nuts well these nuts but and then just screw them on we'll go over the torque spec in a little bit so I just screw them on not all the way I what I like to do is I like to leave it a little bit loose this way so that way that way because that way I know what I need to tighten because if I screw it all the way like if I let's say I get distracted or something happens and I come back and if this screwed all the way in I'm gonna think it's already tight and then you know put the wheels on and drive off and then all of a sudden you got you know fitment issues because you know your, your car went crooked or I don't know what but anyways point is leave them a little loose to give you kind of like an idea of what you need to tighten clips Right here on the sides, you just go in. Give me a second, there go. like that. Now you need uh, your brake line, which is the 12 millimeter. Here, hold on, let me take off my nasty glove. Damn, look at that. Anyway. All right, let's see. We'll cut that out. Let's see. One second. Can see. Yeah, the camera was in my way. Hold on. Give me one sec. I have knee issues. So. Alright, anyways. There you go, screw that in. Perfect. And that's it. All you gotta do now is just tighten everything down. So we're having a lot of technical difficulties. Uh, we, we, we thought we were recording, but the, the camera guy was taking pictures. Anyway, so well, what I was trying to say was. Hold on, hold on. In my defense, the pictures were pretty fire, all right? Stupid. <laughs> Anyways, most important, so when you're gonna install everything back, um, you can torque everything down. I mean, it's, pre it's preference. I mean, the only thing I'm gonna torque down is just the two main things that I believe is most important, which is just, you know, the stretch of hub. I mean, other things are important too, but 
like the 12 millimeter for the brake line, the small one, I mean, the, gu the guns that we use, I mean, it's already powerful enough to kind of, you know, just get it right. And the torque spec isn't too high. For the end link, um, same thing, I use the gun. And then just for these two big bolts, uh, I we torque them down to 114 foot-pounds. And, um, and that's about it. Um, We'll tell you, we'll, we'll list the torque specs in the description as far as like for the end link and the little 12 millimeter stuff like that. And then also for the, the top three nuts, I don't, I don't torque those either. I mean, you could, but it doesn't need too much uh, force either. So, um, but again, I'll just link the, the torque specs in the description. That way, if you guys, you know, if you guys want to, you guys, you know, preference, you guys can do it, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, you know, I don't know if that's either good or bad it could go both ways i guess you know because some people are like you gotta it's you gotta like my car, right? you gotta torque everything down but then again it's you know whatever anyways so let me oh but like oh and also before i forget that way um i usually get the the gun and i kind of hit these two bolt these two nuts with the gun like just a little bit like lightly just to kind of thread them in that way you're not there with the torque wrench just you know wrenching it too long and then once you do it with the gun for a little bit Let's get your torque wrench uh, as far as torque wrench I would suggest using something of uh, I guess good quality because usually like I've had well, for my, my like for me I've had like, bad experiences with like cheap like Harbor Freight or you know you know like tools tools kind of thing I've had a bad experience where they just don't aren't like really accurate or they break very or they break or something I don't know that's just me but I mean mine's a snap-on I mean, it doesn't have to be snapping, but just something that's, you know, good, I guess. So, let me, let me get my wrench. You want to repeat all this? Oh, yeah, sure. So, wrench on one side and then start talking down. There's not much clearance either, so you know because it's kind of awkward position. So hold on. I bet you everybody's like, "Damn, what what rookies don't even know what they're doing? They're just talking out of their butt." I thought you were gonna say with my uh, phone going off. Oh no. So once you hear the click, you're good. Now we go to the bottom. Sorry if it's taking a while, it's because I'm working on the alley and my knees are having come. So now we're going to take out the rear uh, suspension. So you're going to use a 10, a 14, and a 17. For these right here. Uh, one, two, three, and four. And this should drop just like this. And then you got two 14s on the top. So you kind of have to empty out the trunk space this comes out pretty easy and then this one had a couple clips here right there and right there as well and it's just those two 14s right there and same thing on this side that was too easy to take out the whole thing and this was pretty much the tool i used for the clips for the clips
Oh. Uh, and we're switching to iPhone quad. You're recording, right? Yeah. Oh. I didn't have the wrench with me, but I used um, another another 17 socket with the ratchet to hold to hold the bolt from one side while I'm unscrewing the nut. Because if you don't use this, it's just gonna be spinning. So take it off. Let me get my. And we're actually going to try to see if we can just take this off and take the two bolts on the top and see if we can just take it out. But if it doesn't work, we're gonna, we'll do this. Yeah. So. Let me get a hammer. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Or not. Yeah, or not. Oh, you have to take it. I was having trouble with your recording? Yeah. Having trouble to take it out, so it has kind of like adhesive, or like it's like dirt or grime or whatever that was just right here. Kind of made it hard to kind of like you know pull out completely so i just get a flathead or and then just hammer it a little bit and it just pops right out first bolt so you want to do the top one yeah now we're just gonna go to you stopping or not no i think we better have used those yeah. or that whatever just because i think you're gonna take off this thing if you're gonna use that you don't have the one for the drill no Fourteen, eh? Is that the just pop in the middle? And a little. Where's that clip? I think you just broke my clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> Better hand in the middle. It's fine. Oh, no, it didn't break. It's Whatever. Over. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It's a clip. Who needs them anyways, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, and we don't have like a tripod or a stand to be, you know, making better, you know, stabilized videos. So. I don't know, my hands pretty steady. Oh my god. I thought you ready. I'm ready. Second, guys. 
Everything is out. So now we're just gonna drop this down. So I got a pry bar. Right out. Might be a little bit easier if you are. You know what? You can yeah, let me see if I can just. Uh... Oh, that was a little rough. So don't do that. Cause then you're gonna damage your components like but it's not my car right who cares so anyways and it just comes right up just, just make sure you, you know you're careful you don't want to hit your car your brand new car and make you know scratches like i did already <laughs> scratches and imperfections <laughs> okay so we're gonna do the other side and then uh come back when we install it all right so put the bar back up. You could just do your, you could just do, use your hand to just line this up at least. But when you're gonna line this up, you have to push the control arm, the whole suspension a little bit more up. So we're gonna have to use a jack. Um, you're just gonna have to kind of play with the, play with it to kind of push it up and line it up. But that's about it. I had an issue with uh, when you when you're lifting the suspension. What gives you trouble is uh, a little bit was the is the end link for the right here for the sway bar this tends to go down and it's kind of kind of hard to kind of position it but what we did was just uh at least to line up with the hole we just got a flathead and just use the hammer like so to kind of guide it to kind of guide it like uh its position right there so it's gonna go a little bit to the left Yeah, that's it. Is it? No. Like, I, I can't really see from there. See if we can do this. Oh, there we go. Try okay. it. So, and then you just put the bolt in, like so. Oh, so. Actually, one second. So, keep in mind that when you're lining up this side, the other sides you have to line up as well. Because the bushing in the middle kind of like folds, I guess. Like, you can just use a flathead to kind of like, you can't line up both sides. Just use a flathead and kind of just pry it up and hold it up because when you let go, this falls down. So to keep, and then it won't line up. So you kind of have to like hold this up in position while on the other side you have, you have your bolt and you're just putting it in there. And once you have it in, just wiggle it and just try to get it in. And just like that. So once that's that, get your nuts or nut, screw it in a little bit. Don't forget this piece as well. This is your little 10. Screw that in. And then now we're just gonna jack up to get the last bolt in, which is for the for the strut. Jacking it up. As you see. And it'll just come into place. Just a little bit more. A little bit, a little bit. Right there. It. And again, if you want to line it up a little bit, just actually, no, actually, do the same method again with the, with the flathead. If this video turns out all like whack, bear with us because, like, again, we're new to this whole video thing and we're trying to figure out how to like. You know edit and you know all that crazy stuff and so so if you like it you know i guess you can like it if you want you know hit the like button i guess as like other youtubers say um we're gonna uh yeah hold on just give me one second let me get this in. I'm talking too much Oh, that's 
to the downward a bit. Lower it just slightly. Okay, where your fingers are. Yeah. Wait. Can you lift it slightly? Yeah. You good there? Yeah, it looks like it came up. Alright, hold on. Is it going in or is it not going in? So, so you just had to play with it a little bit. You play with the suspension, you know, kind of move it up and down, like just very little. And then it'll go in. And that's about it. Just uh, tighten, tighten all these down. First, uh, we're, we're gonna torque all of them, just to you know, just just because the suspension work and we don't want to have an issue where. The lower control arm just you know falls off or something so we're going to torque everything down torque specs again are going to be linked in the description and then um same for the for the top finish this thing yeah uh, what's up everybody so we're back at it that's how it looks like a little bit lower so and what we're doing is we're swapping wheels on a evo 9 